Okay, we're talking about the Socrative app. Um, you can do it online or you can also do it through your app. There's a Socrative app for a teacher and there's also one for a student that makes it a student clicker. Once you've went through the sign up process and Socrative is S-O-C-R-A-T-I-V-E. Once you've done that you get a room number that never changes. It always shows up on your screen so you don't have to worry about memorizing it or losing it. Um, if you do the single question activities with your multiple choice, true, false, short answer, those show up just like it would on a turning point or a CPS responder with a graph. You don't actually see which student posted what until you go to your reports. Um, down at the bottom you can start a quiz that you've already made or do an exit ticket or a space race. Um, I'm going to go down here to where it says manage quizzes and I'm going to click create a quiz and this is where you can set up your quiz. You can give it a name. You can click on multiple choice because I want to do multiple choice. You type in your question, type in your answers, put a check mark by the one that is correct. And click save at the bottom. When you're finished, <coughs> excuse me. Then once you have a pre-made quiz, um, you can actually go go through and run that quiz. So I'm going to click, um, I'm actually going to click on start a quiz and it's going to let me right here, it'll, it'll ask me, it'll tell me how many students are in my room, that means how many has answered. Um, I can click a save quiz or I'm going to do a demo quiz, so I'm going to click that. And I can either do it student pace, where they answer at their own pace, or uh, where I set the pace. So if I do a student pace quiz, um, that means the question actually shows up on the device the student is using. So I'm going to use my iPad, which you can't see, but I'm going to put in the room number 580-847, and I'm going to join the room. And on the app, that's what the first page shows me. Let's just see how we're running on time here. Okay. So it says, please wait for the teacher to start the activity. So I'm going to do student pace quiz. And it will show you that there's one person in the room because I have signed up. And on my iPad, I'm seeing where it says, please enter your first and last name. Because this is how the teacher is going to get the data. How she's going to see what each student did. And then I click submit on the iPad. And then it gives me a question. It says, which of the following American presidents was not a K-12 or college teacher? So I'm going to say Ronald Reagan. I'm not sure if that's right. But it tells me, yes, that's right. Next question, <clears throat> who was Socrates? I'm going to click philosopher. And it says, next question. Now remember, this is student paced. So this means I can answer them as fast as I want to. The next question it's given me is a short answer. It says, the blank is the form of inquiry and debate. I won't read the whole question to you. And I'm submitting it. Um, okay, and then I'm at the end of it and it says, do I want to finish the quick quiz or do I want to let another student take this quiz? So I'm going to click let another student take this quiz and actually I can now hand this iPad to the next person at my group and let them take it. So I'm going to type in another name. click submit and then I'm going to let them take the test. And I just missed the answer on purpose and it actually told me um, that I was incorrect and it told me what the correct answer was. And I tried to answer the short answer with no answer and it wouldn't let me. It says please answer in a response. And then I'm going to finish the quiz this, at this point. <clears throat> and I only have 20 seconds left in our screencast. So I'm going to go ahead and click end the activity. And then this is where it asks me, do I want to email myself a report or download the report? I'm going to click download and I'll be right back with you.